This is Nitin Dahad with the Times, and I'm here with Ahmed Bahai, who's the uh, CTO uh, for Tex uh, TI, Texas Instruments. Ahmed, hello. Hello, Nitin. Uh, well, uh, Ahmed, so uh, tell me, um, uh, what, what are the key things that you, you are working on these days? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, actually, as you know, TI is uh, the largest analog mix signal company in the world and very diverse portfolio of the technologies and products. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, some of the technologies we have been working on uh, at research level now is uh, translated to opportunities for impacting the many markets and applications. For example, the project that we are just uh, seeing on this wall is about how to integrate a, an AI accelerator with our real-time controller C2000 for applications like architecture in solar inverters, right. which is really kind of a pattern recognition using a DNN engine. And the design is done such that you can reduce the complexity, power consumption, and use it, improve the usability for, for customers. And th this is in production now? Yes, this is in production, and it moved from early investigation and R&D in collaboration with the business units to a full production in last few years. This is part of, I think, you, you're, you're head of the Kilby Research Lab. Correct. And I think you had an, uh, a thought, say, how can we do arc detection? Um, and then this all evolved from, from sort of developing a product and a process for that. Is that right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So it's not limited to arc detection. In many cases, you want a pattern recognition. It came, came from that. It came from that, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And expanded to the processor or, or, or accelerator that can detect the patterns using a DNN engine and with that we can improve the performance overall. And of course we offer the software platform to make it much more user friendly for customers who don't have that many machine learning experts uh, and we can leverage that by using a very uh, user friendly interface for the process. What are the big challenges uh, that TI is seeing in the industry right now? Of course, uh, our industry is uh, becoming more and more competitive yeah. uh, because we see semiconductor in everything you plug into the wall or anything that has a battery. Everything on this show floor. Everything yeah. on this show. You can see yeah. you have more and more chips and more semiconductor content. So obviously the competition is more intense than before. And there is a lot of room for innovation, especially in TI. We see that opportunities are across the board from innovation at the device level, process technologies, at design level, at packaging level. And of course, since we have our own manufacturing capabilities, we can offer a very efficient manufacturing capabilities for our products, a combined uh, compound innovation, what I call it, which is combination of all these unique advantages, give us an opportunity to differentiate and offer the most compelling solutions for our customers. And, and, and I think one of your targets is to do 95% of, of all your products uh, manufactured internally, is that right? Correct. By 2030? Correct. We are investing significantly in our manufacturing capability and expanding And this is even before the CHIPS Act, you, you would get investing? Yes, that yeah. was the plan we had and worked on it for many years and we think by 2030, we are, our plan is going to be like to the point that we can have 95% of our chips manufactured in TI. Uh, factories. And um, uh, what's quite fascinating uh, for, for us as journalists is uh, seeing what you're doing in research and you talked about the Kilby Research Lab and you're, you're working on high risk, high reward. Can you give us a glimpse into some of the things you're working on now which you might see in the future? Yeah, obviously uh, we see that the uh, competition in semiconductor industry, as I mentioned, is getting more and more intense. Yeah. That means we need to come up with new materials, new packaging technologies and new devices. Uh, another interesting project you see here uh, is that the uh, GAN motor drivers. Okay. That's a great example of how advantages on technologies, uh, what I mean by that is GAN devices on silicon, give us a unique differentiation in terms of efficiency of the uh, drivers. Uh, that took us a while to develop this GAN on silicon in a reliable, cost-effective way. Mm. And also, in addition to that, using drivers that can take advantage of these GAN high switching frequency, right. low R on devices, give us another angle of the differentiation. Of course, packaging high voltage devices is another angle. So we can see uh, another example of how combination of innovations across different disciplines give us a unique advantage in the market and products that we are offering. Well, 
I mean, it's an example. Where everybody talks about heterogeneous architectures, and uh, and I think this is a part of like cross disciplinary uh, uh, innovation as well. I guess. Absolutely, and having them all under one roof gives yeah. us a yeah. unique advantage and opportunity for more and more disruptive innovations. Well, Ahmed, look forward to more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Good you. Talking to you, Nathan.